Does this look familiar to you guys? Let's slow it down right here. This is Lester Quinones. If you aren't familiar with him, things might change very soon. Because watch this. Here he beats the Kings defender off the ball before sidestepping into a three. But let me ask again, does this look familiar? And Switch gives it out to Jordan Poole, corner three. Yeah. The Golden State Warriors might have done the funniest thing this offseason. Not only did they trade Jordan Poole for Chris Paul, but you were telling me they traded JP because they had JP 2.0 waiting in the wings. And if you think that's crazy, how about this play? Pockets to get a knockdown shot. Big time shot. But just forget about the Jordan Paul comparisons for a second. One thing is for certain, Lester Quinones looks like an NBA level player. Through two summer league games, he's averaging 23 and a half points on 56% from the field and 59% from three. And it's the three point shooting that is most intriguing because whilst the step back threes and tough shots off the dribble that he's hitting are great, it's what he does without the ball that sets him apart. I don't need to tell you guys the importance of off ball movement as a shooter. In fact, improved off ball movement was a huge reason for JP blossoming in the first place. But just watch this. Lester runs a give and go, but instead of cutting, he shakes the defender out of his shoes with a hezzy, and then off the catch, it's butter. These are the quick movements and decisions that we have become accustomed to seeing from Steph, Clay, and JP. This wasn't even the most impressive off-ball play from that game alone, though. Watch here. Lester attacks the paint. Arguably could have got a foul call, but it's what happens next. Instead of complaining on the ground, he gets back up, races to the corner before hitting a three. That's a veteran move from a 22-year-old. In fact, in just two games, he has shown pretty much everything you could hope to see from a young combo guard. And if you aren't convinced by the competition he's played, well, how about cooking Keegan Murray multiple times? He has Murray 25 feet from the basket. He crosses him up, gets past him, and the most impressive part, look at the strength and body control when met with the help side defense. But it gets so much better because again, he has Murray on an island. And again, he's too quick. But look at the dime. Hello? Do you see the dime that he just dropped? Fooling three Kings defenders at once. And this isn't a one-off. Despite only averaging 1.3 assists per game in his last season in college, Kinone has increased that to nearly five a game in the G League. And this is why it's worth mentioning, because these aren't just two good Summer League performances. There's a reason the Dubs extended an offer to Leicester, and that's because he was fantastic in the G League last season. Quinones averaged 22 points, seven boards, and five assists on solid efficiency, and those stats still don't come close to doing justice how dominant he was over the second half of the G League season. Over his last 14 games, he averaged 26 points, nine boards, and four assists on good efficiency efficiency, and some of the performances he had proved he's simply too good for that level, including multiple 30 and 40 point games, which for reference is not common at all. Just to put this into perspective, when JP went back and found his mojo in the G League, he averaged 22 points and didn't have multiple 40 point games either. But getting back to Quinones, in addition to his three point shooting, it's his size and driving ability that has so much potential. Watch this play for example, he comes off the dribble handoff, fakes the defender out before then attacking right into the body of the defender going downhill. Or how about this move where he gets the handoff, spins back away from the defender before hezzy, hezzy and getting to the rim. In fact, this is what you'll see from Leicester that separates him from other young players. He has really good awareness of where his defender is at all times. Like on this play where he's curling off the ball and recognizes the defender over committing so he simply spins out of trouble in one motion getting straight to the rim. And if you somehow still aren't convinced by his ability to get downhill, this play should help you. Here he is grabbing the board. And can everyone say a quick prayer for number 21? Trust me, he's going to need it. Because just take a look at what he does. Crossing him up in transition before stopping on a dime and then the hezzy to shake him out of his shoes before getting to the rim for the N1. What makes him so dangerous as a driver is because of how good he is shooting the ball and also how much he moves. Defenders are constantly pressing up on him and he's then able to leverage that by beating them downhill. In addition to this, he's got legitimate size at 6'5 and over 200 pounds to go along with good basketball IQ. 
I mean, if you want to add to the Jordan Paul comparisons, he's also got an absolutely filthy Euro step that we have already seen in Summer League, and he absolutely abused defenders with all season long in the G League. Forget about everything else for a second. Can we just acknowledge that there is no cleaner move than a Euro step to the rim, and I'm thankful the dubs now have another consistent user of that move. Now I know what you guys are thinking. He's got a lot in common with JP. He might not be as shifty or as quick, but he's got similar traits. However, is he like JP on defense? Well, this is where the difference could be. Quinones is a legit defender. In fact, in college, he was considered a 3 and D player and one of the best guard defenders in his conference. Just watch this clip where he tracks Murray off the ball, avoiding the screener and getting his hand in the passing lane. But most impressively is how honest he is when talking about his defense and what he brings to the team plus can improve on. But also um, going down on the other end, I feel like defensively, I feel like that's where I can work on better. They can know that I'm on the court for offense and coming down on defense and kind of playing the ball both ways. So I feel like defensively, that'll probably be my niche to start off. And like I said, it's all about just building my trust with Coach Kerr. I mean, if you need any indication of his physical tools and overall intensity, I mentioned it before, but over the last 14 games of the G League season, he averaged nearly nine boards a game. Those are insane numbers for a guard. But let's be honest, some of you guys are thinking to yourselves, who cares? He's only going to be the 15th man anyways. Well, if you need any reminding of just how important the 15th spot on the roster can be, think back to two years ago. A guy by the name of Gary Payton II had to fight for that 15th spot during Summer League, and well, the rest is kind of history. But defend him with a small perimeter guy. Oh, Gary Payton! What the flush? And the reason I believe he could fill a similar role to GP2 is because he's a specialist. I've talked about all the things he's capable of, and hopefully he can turn into a complete NBA player, but starting right now, Lester Quinones is an NBA level three point shooter. If you go back to college, he shot nearly 40% from three two years in a row. And then last year in the G League, he only shot 35%, but that was on nine attempts a game, and the difficulty of shots was ridiculous. There's no reason he can't improve that percentage when he's not asked to create for himself so frequently. Take this play for example where it's just a nice handoff, Miller gets caught on the screen, Lester sets his feet and knocks it down. I already showed you some of the elite off-ball movement, but he has a knack for popping up in the right place at the right time. And that's all he's going to be asked to do initially when he's getting those minutes. And is it just me, or does his skill set also have some similarities to a player the dubs just lost in free agency? I'm obviously not talking JP, but as far as shooting, playmaking, and potential on defense, I also see some similarities between Canones and DiVincenzo. If you did make it all the way to the end of the video, a like would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel for more. And if you want to see another potential diamond in the rough, click here. Or if you want to hear more about what Chris Paul can bring to the dubs, click here.